Hi guys, and welcome to the vlog. Um, if you're new here, my name is Haley Odegaard. If you are returning, thank you so much. Um, today is, of course I don't know what the day is. Today is Monday, April 11th, and it's 1.30. Um, I woke up this morning and just jumped straight into work. Um, today I'm work from home. I do social media like content creation and management for a clothing company. So I've just been posting stories, editing videos, stuff like that. But now it's time to get my life together. Um, I have to go grocery shopping. I have to clean my house, do laundry, and um, prepare for a content day tomorrow. I'm gonna shoot and I'll take you guys along with me. Um, so just basically, I just need to get my life together. I also have been ordering food like crazy. So I told myself, I know like it's the 11th, but I told myself that I'm not ordering any more food this month because it's just unhealthy and it's expensive and all of that. So, the only way I can get all of this done today is if I make a list, write it down, and check everything off. So I need to make a grocery list and kind of like a to-do list. off to the grocery store first thing we're gonna cross off our list and this is the fit um, I got this set from PacSun and I've been living in it super cute I'm bringing my reusable bag from the comfy society and then obviously we gotta have the pink Chanel bag so let's go grocery shopping and my camera spots die but got the good old iPhone so let's go in I let's see I want to show you guys I switched over my list to my phone so I literally don't forget anything because I usually do um, so let's go shopping I just got home. Like I said, my camera's about to die, but we're gonna unload the groceries. I didn't have, I should've brought two disposable bags, but I didn't, so I have to get one brown bag. My camera totally died, but I put away my groceries. Um, and now I'm gonna go put some laundry in. Um, I changed into like a big t-shirt from Urban Outfitters because it's starting to get hot here in LA and I was sweating. Also, now that I'm cleaning, I don't wanna wear like um, my cute sweatsuit. So I took that off. I'm wearing this with little shorts and we're gonna go put the laundry in and then start cleaning my messy apartment.
finished cleaning my apartment and the laundry is still going. So I figured what better moment to give you guys a quick little apartment tour. Now my apartment is not fully done. We're actually missing quite a bit of things that I would like to have in here. But everything is either back ordered, out of stock, I don't know. It's been really hard to find things to order. And then also, like, I live alone. So with big furniture pieces, it's, it's kind of a hassle to find people that kind of help you or you have to get it delivered, make sure they can bring it up three flights of stairs. All of that so I'm gonna show you my apartment I'm gonna flip you around and it's cute it's cute we like it first we'll start off with the kitchen that absolutely kills me I can't stand these orange like old orange cabinets but it's a kitchen and I'm so grateful to have one I also have a uh, dishwasher which is crazy here's my vacuum on the floor dishwasher which is crazy and I have everything I need in the kitchen so it it is fine the kitchen's fine I'm gonna spin you around now this is the living dining room area this is like my workspace slash eating area I want to get like cool art to go right here because this is just like a plain wall and then my TV, this I got from Ikea. It's missing the doors on it. It's supposed to have doors on it, but they're out of stock and they've been out of stock for months. So hopefully one day I'll be able to get doors right here. And then the couch. I sit here and just watch TV, pretty cute. I like, I want to keep this wall plain, but this little area right here, I need to get a plant and like a mirror or something to go right there, which I have not done yet. And then here is my cutie little balcony, which I absolutely love. The view from the street. I'm on the third floor, so get an okay view. Well, of cars and other buildings, but you know the drill. And I literally haven't done anything to the balcony yet. So this is where I spend like most of my time. Now let's go to the bathroom. It's just a basic, basic bathroom. Everything you could ever need. Hi, here I am. With like okay storage, there's those ugly orange cabinets. It's throughout the house. And then this is my first closet in the hallway this closet has all of my hair stuff face stuff and then over here is like hot tools more hair more hair more hair stuff so and then up here is where like my linens go but this closet is getting like really full so I, I should probably come up with a better system, but for right now it's working. And then we'll come into here. This is my other closet. It's a lot bigger, but it has all of my clothes in it. And then we come down, here is my dresser. I need to find a really good like jewelry organizer um, my art that I love so this is not done not complete at all just horrible and then here is my bed my little lights and then my window we keep it open during the day because it's a beautiful day out um, I would love to get like a headboard and then I need more storage for my shooting like accessories and then my shoes are out of control so I need to get uh, more storage right here.
Pretty little thing sent me a package. Um, let's open it up together. Yeah. Okay. We've got pink sweatpants. You guys, I keep ordering sweats. I don't know why, I just do. But these are cute, little pink pair of sweatpants. And then I got um, a super cute pink sweatshirt that has writing on the back. What does it say? It says, if you are reading this, I hope you have the best day ever. And I got it super oversized. This is super cute. What else do I got in here? Ooh, we got cargo pants. Can you guys see? I should totally do a try on haul, but I'm gonna do one on my TikTok. So, you guys don't get a try on haul today, but I'm just gonna show you. But these are super cute cargo pants. I believe that they're oversized. I'm gonna have to try them on. They're kind of like an olive green color, which I love. Super, super cute. And I think I have one more thing. I was able to get four things. Um, ooh. Oh my God, yes. A corset moment. So stinking cute. This is, this is all really good quality stuff. So, I was planning on wearing my cargos and the corset together. I'm gonna shoot this tomorrow for sure. Um, that will match where we're going. It's gonna look so cute. I need to figure out like the accessories, but that is cute. day we're shooting at this location I love this location because it has pretty little palm trees and it's neutral here's a little sneak peek of my outfit but you'll see you'll see it on the gram probably it might be posted by the time this is up so make sure to check it out um, Taylor is just changing really quickly we have this outfit and then one more we shot our first outfit inside. So yeah, that's what I want to today. <laughs> Just to show you guys, yes, my corset is still under the sweatsuit. Life of a content creator. I did not want to take my top off um, because there were just like people hanging outside my car and I don't know if my windows are like tinted enough and I wasn't willing to, to test that theory. So I just kept this on under and you know, whatever. Anyways. I met up with my friend Taylor today. I haven't seen her in so long and we've never actually shot together. We've only like met up with each other at events. Um, but it was so nice. We got coffee, caught up, caught up, <laughs> caught up. And um, then we shot. We have the same style and the same aesthetic. So I feel like it went so well and so quickly, which that's not always the case. Sometimes when I'm shooting with 
my content creator friends that just have like different aesthetics. It just takes a little bit longer because you just like want to find like other um, spots to shoot um, to match like their feet or whatever. So this went really well, super quick. And now I'm gonna head home. I just need to film like some TikToks and I'm gonna film a YouTube video that will be up before this one. So if you haven't seen it and you're watching this vlog, go check it out because it's gonna be really good. Anyways. Yeah, so I'm heading home right now, and I'll see you there. So I just finished working, just take my blue light glasses off, and it's dinner time. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to cook. Um, yes, I have pimple patches on. When I got home, I was like so exhausted that I took a little bit of a nap. I don't know, this week I've just been like completely run down and I kind of just like fell asleep. Do you know like those days where it's like, you don't know how that even happened. So yeah, I took a little nap and then I woke up showered because I had like makeup on from shooting earlier this morning and then I had some zits, so I popped these on and have just been super cozy all day, just editing emails, admin work. Um, I didn't, I did some TikToks. I didn't do as much as filming as I hoped I would have, but really thought it would be best to like listen to my body instead of pushing myself and we'll get it done. Everything will get done. So now it's dinner time. I'm gonna plop you guys up here. What should I have? So I'm thinking either turkey meatballs on like a Greek feta salad or I have like, I can make a bowl with risotto I was thinking and then I have these chicken sausage links I could do and then like avocado and some spinach and just make like a bowl. I even have sweet potato I could put in there, but I feel like that might take too long. That might take too long, but I think I'm gonna do um, risotto, chicken sausage, avo, and, a, and make a bowl. Okay, so we have the risotto. I'm gonna put some spinach over that for some greens. And then over here I have cucumber, the chicken sausage, and then avocado. I'm gonna put it on top. Okay, and then I have just like a little bit of dressing for added flavor. And this is just what I use. Avocado oil, a dash of red wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, tiny little bit, and then black pepper. And then this is what it looks like. And this is my bowl. So I'll just drizzle it on there, just for some added flavor and chef's kiss. Let's try this out. This is like my first time really making this bowl. It sounded good, so it's a good bite. Tastes good. Also, water in a wine glass. I don't know. It just tastes so much better in a wine glass at dinner time because I'm really trying to minimize my drinking. And I never drink at home alone, like very rarely. Uh, I just drink socially when I go out. But even then, I'm trying to minimize that 
just because it doesn't make me feel good. Wait, this is good. This is a good combo. salon that I work at and do my client's hair and last minute my client canceled the first morning appointment um, so instead of filling that spot I just decided to block that time so I can have a nice little morning so usually I would already be over there my first appointment today starts at 11 um, and it takes about an hour and 15-ish minutes to get there. So I'm gonna leave here probably in about an hour and 10 minutes. We'll leave at like 9.45. Okay, you guys. This is the look today for going to the salon. I usually just wear a t-shirt because I like to be extremely comfortable. This t-shirt is from dangerous girl or girl I think it's girl dangerous um, they have really soft tees and super cute ones so that's what I like to wear I basically wear a t-shirt every single time I go to the salon and then just like really comfortable jeans these like have stains on them from coloring so I wear these a lot and these are rag and bone and then I will usually just wear tennis shoes um, because comfort is key for long days like this. So this is the fit and let's go to work. Let's go to Orange County and do hair, yay! Um, I just need to clean, sweep floors, make sure like ever, all the dishes are done, and then I'm gonna head home and probably go straight to bed. Um, but today was a very successful day. I absolutely adore all my clients, so they make these long days worth it. Alexa, turn off the music.
Okay, I am about to film my first ever hair tutorial video for YouTube. This is the setup and I'm super excited. We're going to do big, bouncy, long lasting waves. So if you have not seen that video yet, go ahead and check it out and I will see you guys after. I just got done filming my hair tutorial. Here is the <laughs> messy aftermath of that. If you guys like this hairstyle, big voluminous curls that last you a long time, go ahead and go over it and watch my tutorial. Now, what I need to do is prep for my secret meeting. I can't really say what it's about um, because it's still in the beginning process, but I do need to prepare for that and I'm gonna make myself a little snack for lunch. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It is stunning outside. Let me spin you around. Can you guys see? It is absolutely stunning out. That meeting went so good. I'm so happy. Um, and I didn't get outside today and it is, it's dark, it's nighttime, but that's okay. Is it normal that I didn't go outside at all today? I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna break up. You are my best friend. Oh. You threw the best friend. Oh shit, maybe they're not gonna break up. Without further ado. Stop it. Stop it. No way. I for sure thought they were done. She's getting a ring on her finger. Yes. And she said yes. You guys, the show, this show. Crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just finished the ultimatum. It's so good, I love shows like that. Like seriously, love. Um, so I'm in bed, I've got my pimple patches on and I'm just winding down. It's 10.20 right now, but tomorrow is Friday, which means the weekend is going to start. And so I'm going to cut the vlog off right here. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching a very basic week in my life. Um, some weeks are more fun than others, but this was just very much of what I'm doing on a daily basis and um, thank you guys for coming along this journey with me and I will see you next time. Good night.